tomorrow night, the Dallas Safari Club will auction off a chance to kill a rare black rhino. This is perfectly legal. It is meant to save the rhinos who are endangered. Cena Dead Lavendera is live in Dallas with more on this. And I know this Dallas Safari Club, they are getting death threats because of this auction. Uh, they have been receiving death threats. Uh, all of that information has been turned over to the FBI office here in Dallas, and we're told by the FBI that they're looking into those threats as well. But this story has really sparked a fascinating debate over efforts to save the black rhino in Namibia, the country in, in, on the southern African continent. And what's fascinating about all of this, Brooke, is that both sides essentially are arguing that they're trying to do what is best for the black rhino. There are only 5,000 black rhinos left in the world today, about 1,700 of them those are in Namibia and the Namibian government for the first time has given a group outside of its own country the ability to auction off one of these permits and this will be done tomorrow night the Dallas Safari Club is holding a convention here in Dallas at the convention center tomorrow night they will auction off this hunting permit from the Namibian government and as you might imagine it has sparked all sorts of the debate the Safari Club says they're doing this to save the animal while wildlife uh, conservation groups around the world are saying that this is a terrible idea. When you talk to the scientists and biologists, sometimes having to sacrifice an animal for the overall good of the herd and of the species is what you really are trying to do. Honestly, I think it's a farce to say this is being done for conservation. I do agree that there is sometimes a need to manage wildlife populations in small areas, but there are less than 5,000 individuals left of this species. Instead of killing it, it could be moved to a different area be used to bring in phototourism or ecotourism, something that doesn't kill the animal. And so, Brooke, I think it's kind of important to point out what the Dallas Safari Club is saying is that the Namibian government has identified two or three black rhinos that can be hunted, that there will be government uh, patrollers that go out with whoever wins this auction bid and will, uh, will tell them essentially which black rhino they can kill. They say it will be an old male, in the words of the director of the Dallas Safari, an old cranky male who they say is actually <laughs> more of a threat to the herd, <laughs> more of a threat to the herd in the long run, and that this is, so, this is a... a rhino that will not be reproducing or not participating, participating anymore in, in, in the species there in, in Namibia, and that will be the kind of black rhino that will be targeted. You know, people have all sorts of questions after all of that, but in the long run, it's fascinating because both of these sides are arguing that they're this doing what is best the for the thing. black rhino. Right. I, I